What is what is Arch? What do you guys at NBA think about this? These high school kids covering the G League and everything. Else. I, I know they want to get all the best players in the league, but I just, from a G League standpoint, I've been in the G League where I, I made my two-way salary, which was like a base of 75, but everyone else made like 30 grand. I don't know how they're going to pay this one team in L.A., which there's already two teams in L.A. You're going to add a third team to L.A. that's a select team that each of them gets 500 grand. Like, the players are going to want it. Like, the teammates are going to not they're everybody. gonna they're gonna hate them. They're gonna hate. I mean, not hate them, but they're gonna be like this this dude coming in making two hundred fifty grand when I've been grinding away and being a professional overseas to try to get my shot in the NBA, and I'm making thirty five thousand dollars. And this kid's eighteen coming in making. They're paying three kids a, a million dollars. Like, how, the, how does the money thing work when other teams only have two hundred fifty thousand to divide for every for a ten man roster? It's yeah, be interesting. I, I just don't understand why Adam Silver is doing this. I, I just, I don't understand if it's to keep RJ Hampton and LaMelo Ball from going to New Zealand or Australia, who gives a shit? Let, let a couple yeah. kids go. I, I, I think about this, some other how about this for a, How about this for a, a theory? Yeah, go ahead. In 21, the, the NBA has said that they were going to take kids, they were going to take players out of high school, right? But they have to get the players association to agree to that. Leverage. What if they what if they know that the players association is not going to agree to that? I agree. And they're not going to be able to take those guys out of high school. So now this is going to be their only way to get guys out, out of high school. I'm yeah. with you. I think there's an ulterior motive here. I, I think it's because Adam Silver put all his cards on the table a couple of years ago and said, we're going to change the rule. And now they can't get it done because why would you, Arch, why would the Players Association and, and you want high school kids coming into the league and potentially taking your jobs or older guys that are in the last year of their – they wouldn't. And why do owners want it when most of these kids aren't ready? You'd rather have them, to me, play in college and already have a brand. People know who you are, Arch. Why? Because you played at Villanova. You played college basketball. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, only thing I can see is them trying to develop this G League and make it much more of like their own system. Because I know the Miami Heat do a great job of de developing players like Duncan Robinson was a big time player for the G League team and I was starting for them. But if an 18, 19 year old kid comes in, he's going to have to spend his fair share of time in the G League, whether the NBA team drafts him and it might be two to three years before you hear about from that kid again sprinkle in a couple games in the rookie season, but it's going to take a while. I just think that maybe they want to make it a full organizational thing, like one windy, not windy city bulls, Chicago bulls, like one Chicago bulls organization. That's the only thing I can really see. That.